Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and we learned a little something uh, yesterday, and it's the fact that the News and Interest panel is coming to version 2004 and to 20H2. So this was the panel that I was showing for uh, 21H2, one of the things that actually shows up. Uh, news and interest is a little panel with the weather and with some news items that might be of, uh, um, you know, news items that you might like or not. Uh, you can customize it in any way. So, of course, as you see the different things here, what you could say is, okay, I don't want to have this. And you say not interested in the story or the source. So that means that whatever you'll have will not have that next time from that source, for example. Same here. Not interested in the source. And then what you could do is do a refresh the feed. And as you customize this, of course, the news items that show up will apparently be a little more of what you're, you're looking or what you want. Um, so there's going to be some news items there. It's powered, of course, by my by Bing. And that is an interesting side of it is that so that cannot be changed. And those Bing news items might actually, I mean, that Microsoft gets more traffic to its engine. Uh, of course, it has the weather. And what I personally like is the weather that's in the taskbar on the bottom right, which is kind of nice. Uh, this is refreshed all the time, and it's uh, kind of cool with, you know, the icons and the temperature. Now, this is starting to roll out to some of you. So if you start seeing something like that in the bottom right on your taskbar, um, here is what you could do. You could leave it there if you're interested in seeing it and looking at it. There's a few customizations that you might want to change. For example, right-click in your taskbar and go and use an interest. Uh, one of them is I removed the check mark about that was saying open and uh, so here we go, open on hover. Because uh, I was finding that going through it here was kind of annoying because sometimes you want to go to your taskbar icons on the right and I was actually you know having this pop up which for me was terribly annoying. So you could actually uh, remove that check mark which means that it's not gonna um, you know, pop up if you put, have your uh, mouse pointer over it. Um, there's an option called reduce taskbar uh, updates, which I believe simply means that um, it doesn't refresh as often. And also then you have the uh, option to show icon in text, which will give you the weather like this. Show icons only. This is going to give you an icon of the weather for the news and interest and show only an icon. And uh, you can turn it off completely if that's what you wish. I believe a lot of people are going to turn it off completely. So um, I keep it on not because of the uh, not because of the news because I, I, I have my own sources for news. But um, this, um, you know, I, I like the weather like it is right now. So you don't have it yet. Probably most people don't have it yet, but it is starting to roll out to version 2004 and to 20H2. That's the May and October 2020 update. So they decided to roll it to older versions of Windows 10 also. Um, so this is going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. And how many of you are going to keep it? How many of you are going to just shut it off? Uh, this is the news and interest panel now that is rolling out. So... One day you'll be boot, you know, booting up your system and you'll see this on your taskbar. Like I said, just right click and choose your option. Right click on the taskbar, news and interest. And if you want to just turn it off, just click turn off and it's not going to be there. So an interesting panel, but I don't know how useful it is. Except for maybe joining, you know, um, making a lot of traffic to the Bing, um, to the Bing website and honestly i've been playing around and tweaking its um its options on news and interest and it still gives me tons of things i don't want and i don't like um so you know i'm i'm probably not going to look at the news there that's for sure 
So it's up to you to see what you're going to do. And of course, you can turn it off if you wish. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.